Hi everyone. Today's video tutorial is all about uploading pictures of your client space so that you can use them as a backdrop when building out your 3D room designs. Now there's two locations on design files where you can upload pictures of your client space and one of those locations is on the design consultation form. So I'll just go to that now. I'll go into the project details. Uh, if I scroll down to section 6 you'll see that there is an option here where you can upload pictures of your client space or perhaps furniture that they wanted you to incorporate into the design. So all you have to do is select the file from your computer and add it here. And then once that's added, I'm just going to skip the rest of the form for now just for the purposes of this video tutorial. We'll go ahead and update the project details and jump right into the editor. And once in the editor, I just need to go to my library and within my project items, there's the image that I uploaded to that form. So I can actually drag that out onto my empty board here and use it as a backdrop for the 3D room design that I'm going to create for my client. Now if you if you drag out your empty room image and you notice that a portion of the background seems to be missing, it's not a problem. All you need to do is go to the remove background option here and we're going to drag that toggle all the way to the left. It's going to fill that background back in to give you a nice clean image, which you can then use to start dragging out your products and build out your design. Okay, so I'll just scale that into place and you can see that again we've got a little bit of this background shadow showing, so I'm just going to clean that up by going to the remove background and clean that out a bit. There we go. Okay, so that's one location where you can actually upload uh, pictures of your client space. Now you can also upload pictures of your client space directly within the editor. If you're going to do that, just make sure that you're on the Project Items tab instead of the My Library tab. The reason for that is uh, if you save the image to your project items, it will remain uh, only visible for this particular client project. So again, we would just click on the Upload button select the file from the computer. I'm going to grab it again. Now that it's done, all I need to do is give it a name. Uh, you don't need to add price, link, description. Uh, this isn't a product, so we don't need those details. Save the item, and again, it will show in my project items, where I can then drag it out onto the uh, empty board and start building out my room design. Now you'll notice that for this particular image, I actually chose to just uh, shoot a wall square on. Uh, it's a really good idea to do that and just take multiple pictures of your client's space and shoot each wall square on. The reason I say that is because when you start uh, looking for product to add to the design, you'll notice that a large portion of it is also shot square on, which is going to make it easier for you to uh, kind of place these items in a way that will give you the most realistic 3D room design. So definitely keep that in mind, give it a try yourself, and uh, if you ever have any questions about uploading pictures of your client's space to design files, you can always let us know. We're happy to help.